Today we are going over what I am currently drinking eh, for the month of May. It might change next month or it might not, but for now, this is what I'm going through. Let's go! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos and thank you for joining me here in the outside whiskey corner. As I said in my previous video, in the uh, next few months, we will be transitioning to a new whiskey corner um, in Central Florida. So that is exciting, which is also worrisome because we're doing all this stuff in the house and I'm trying to get these videos out um, at least two a week, like I have been, but you guys might see a little lack in that. So just apologize from the beginning, just because we're going through this process, but it will be for the better because we're gonna have our own whiskey corner studio type of thing. So that's exciting. Now, along with this came, obviously I have to start packing up my bourbon. So I will have a video out um, kind of like Matt's, uh, Matt from ADHD Whiskey, he put out a video, if you can only take five bourbons. So you will see that coming soon, but some of that bourbon is already packaged up. <laughs> so I gotta go through that. But that will be coming because I'm actually living that right now. Now, what I am doing is some of the bourbon that is definitely not packed up because I'm still drinking it. I'm still going through it. We're gonna get into that right now, but first I wanted to thank you for joining. Thank you for uh, coming onto the channel, checking out the videos. Please do me two favors. Only thing that I'm gonna ask of you. One, subscribe. That really helps me out. So please subscribe. That will definitely, definitely help me and the channel out. Also another thing that you can do is like this video. YouTube algorithm is, it's a little funny sometimes, but those likes definitely help it out. So let's get into this list. One of them I'm already drinking. So cheers, inaugural sip. That is hands down the best Texas whiskey. I, I mean, I haven't tasted any other one that's that good. And I've talked about it on this channel before. And it is one on this list because I'm going through another one of these bottles. And that is Iron Root Harbinger. Now, I recently just acquired or purchased a Iron Root Harbinger um, 115 proof. This is the 90 proof and this is so great just to barbecue as a daily sipper, just to drink out here in the hot sun. This is amazing. And I would definitely, definitely um, stay with this one, but it's what I'm drinking right now. Quite honestly, I probably go through one of these every two to three months, so you guys know I like it. But Iron Root Harbinger is definitely one that I'm drinking right now in May. Another one that I'm drinking in May that I recently purchased, but probably not as not as soon as I purchased the Iron Root was the Penelope Bourbon. Now this is the Toasted uh, Barrel Strength series. So this is Barrel Strength, so it's 115 proof, and then it's the Toasted series, which is aged four to five um, years and is a char five or toast medium so this is really really good and i see myself reaching for this a lot i mean a lot a lot even like on a daily sipper uh, basis as well but i really really like it and i definitely recommend you guys to go out and purchase one of these if you have not and i'm def definitely drinking this for the month of may all right another one that has been on here and I've talked about it a few times, I've, I think I've talked about it in a few videos, quite honestly, is Fiddler, Georgia Heartwood, and this is the single barrel cast strength from um, Total Wine. This is a pick that they did, and this freaking thing is amazing. 
amazing. Shout out to uh, your drinking buddy or my drinking buddy that um, he did a wheat battle and he put this on here and he's been scoring it really high. So go check out his channel because it's a really good channel. But you guys, if you have not tasted this, definitely go out and get it because this is freaking good. This is probably the best weeded one that I've tasted, that I've liked. I have, I always reach for it, I really do. Um, and you can see that, you know, it's getting down there. So I did purchase it two months ago, but for the most part, it is getting a lot of play in these cups. So I definitely recommend it, and another one that I'm drinking in the month of May. Let me go out for another uh, sip, cheers. Wow, that's gone. I might have to refill this cup with something else. Let's see. Which one of the next three am I gonna refill it with? Hmm. All right, while I think about that, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is New Riff. And this is a bottled in bond one. Now, in my area, there's a few different ones that you find and it's only like one at a time right you either get the single barrel or the bottle and bond or the straight whiskey they're never like in the same place at the same time type of thing but with that said i'm getting into this bottle a lot guys i really do enjoy this bottle this is a sour mash it's a hundred proof and it's a high rye bourbon but this thing is really good i'm becoming a believer of new riff and this has opened my eyes to actually try the other offerings that new riff has to offer so definitely be on the lookout for one of these next one that i'm gonna buy is the uh, single barrel and we'll see how that one goes but for sure i am drinking that now in may so i decided that i'm going to drink this one pop so let me pour it in first and then I'll talk about what it is. Cheers. That's really good. Now this is actually a rye. And this is Sagamore rye, eight year old. So this is really freaking good. You guys know I am not a rye person. I'm not a person that goes towards rye. But this one, I keep going to. Now, I bought it a little while ago and even not really having that like rye uh, thing that I always go after rye, I have gotten down uh, a significant amount. So I definitely reach for this and I've been drinking this a lot more now in the month of May. So if you haven't picked up a Sagamore rye, definitely recommend for you to pick it up. Now, this last one is one that came out on my list for uh, Friday Night Pour, if you could only have five bourbons, and that is Baker's Seven. Yes, I have been drinking this, and not just as a Friday night pour, so hey, ooh, ooh, whatever. But it is amazing. I can't believe I haven't tasted this before, and now that I have, I can't go back, right? I'm always gonna have to have one of these on my bar, because I definitely, definitely like it. And if you guys have yet to try this, which there aren't many of us that were out there. Um, but if you have yet to try this, definitely, definitely, I implore you to go and pick one of these up. Become a believer. So guys, those are the six bourbons eh, slash whiskey, one rye whiskey that I'm having now in the month of May. Let me know what you guys are drinking. Let me know what you're getting into, what you keep reaching for. And quite honestly, let me know where your taste lies. Is it bourbon? Is it Texas whiskey? Is it rye? Let me know and you know do me some favors. Please subscribe. That will definitely definitely help me out. Please like this video. That will truly help me out as well and check out the link in the description below for the Patreon. I'm going to keep enjoying this Sagamore rye and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Oh.